Hi there, it's Neil Baldock from Charles David Casson Estates in Chelmsford and I want to talk to people about HMOs, Houses of Multiple Occupation and uh, I want to get this word out to other letting agents, property investors and independent property managers around the country because there's a real shortfall in quality managing agents for HMOs. And it's something we've niched into over the last nine years. And it's really been a benefit to our business. So I'm going to be running around about a 30-ish part series, maybe slightly more than that, uh, of videos explaining everything I know about HMO management and how it can benefit your agency business and how you can go about growing that and niching into that and becoming the expert in your area in that field. So first of all, what is an HMO? For those of you who don't know, what is a house of multiple occupation? Well, in simple terms, it's a shared house. Uh, it's a house share um, and it is a number of tenants living in a house, hence the term multiple occupation. So the official government definition is it is a house whereby there are three or more tenants sharing it and um, they form more than one household. So a household is considered a family. Um, it could be a single person or members of the same family. So if you had a two brothers, for instance, and one of their friends, that would be more than one household, therefore creating an HMO. And um, the other part that must be satisfied to make it an HMO is that they are sharing either a toilet, bathroom and kitchen facilities. So Anybody who shares those facilities where there's three or more people that and they form more than one household, that becomes an HMO. So you could actually be managing um, HMOs already without knowing that. You might have rented a flat to three people um, or a house to four people, etc. And that is a HMO. Now, we're going to cover in another video the licensing criteria for HMOs. Uh, because some HMOs require a license and that's uh, mandatory through the country now. We'll cover that in another video, but it's important to recognise when something becomes an HMO and that is when there's three or more tenants from more than one household and they're sharing kitchen, bathroom uh, and shared facilities. So have a think about that in your portfolio. Have you got any HMOs that you don't know about? and um, look forward to discussing the licensing criteria in the next video.